carolinaprepper.com. If you're looking for quality food storage for hiking, fishing, hunting, basic survival needs, or just for everyday use, check out our food storage line at carolinaprepper.com. We also carry other fine quality products such as our can-can concealment holsters for men and women. Keeping your firearm undercover and within reach puts confidence in your hands in any situation. Our products are 100% American made. Check us out today at carolinaprepper.com. Hey everybody, how are you? Good to see you. Let me go ahead and let everybody else on. Periscope, good morning. It's a little early. It's not even uh, at the exact hour, but I'm letting people in early. Hey, Robin, good to see you. H-Man, how are you? Don, Dan, how are you? Hey, Digit, Digit Deva, Diva. <laughs> hey, Big Ralph, good to see you. Please, everybody, if you will, go ahead and invite your followers. Share this, please, please. Good to see everybody. Robert. Hey, Renee, sitting in the doctor's office. Oh, Robert, no. Hey, Jules. Hey, Marianne, thank you so much for inviting people. Gary and Robin, good morning. Hey, everybody. Jerry, good to see you. All right, as you're inviting your followers, I'm going to go ahead and read uh, a psalm for us, Psalm 140. It seems to be pretty appropriate these days. Prayer for deliverance from evil men. Deliver me, O Lord, from evil men. Preserve me from violent men who plan evil things in their hearts. They continually gather together for war. They sharpen their tongues like a serpent. The poison of asps is under their lips. Keep me, O Lord, from the hands of the wicked. Preserve me from violent men who have proposed to make my steps stumble. The proud have hidden a snare for me in cords. They have spread a net by the wayside. They have set traps for me. I said to the Lord, you are my God. Hear the voice of my supplications, O Lord. O God, the Lord, the strength of my salvation. You have covered my head in the day of battle. Do not grant, O Lord, the desires of, this, of, his, of the wicked. Do not further his wicked scheme, lest they be exalted. As for the head of those who surround me, let the evil of their lips cover them. Let burning coals fall upon them. Let them be cast into the fire, into deep pits that they rise not up again. Let not a slanderer be established in the earth. Let evil hunt the violent man to overthrow him. I know that the Lord will maintain the cause of the afflicted and justice for the poor. Surely the righteous shall give thanks to your name. The upright shall dwell in your presence. Good morning, Carmen. How is everybody? Seemed very appropriate, as I said, for things that are going on in our world. Yes, Big Ralph, for sure. For sure. Hey, Rebel, good to see you. Thank you, everybody, for inviting. Now they're saying, was the Vegas shooter alone? Um, H-Man, last night the sheriff said that he didn't see how he acted alone, that he thought he had help. Good morning, Pepper. That's, uh, that's, that's one thing that came out last night, and I think probably some people were surprised that he said that. Hey, Lisa. Good morning, Rhonda. Good to see you. So what do you think about what the uh, the sheriff was talking about last night? Anybody have an opinion? Uh, would you agree or disagree with him? Hey, Euro, how are you? I want to think that he did, Carmen said. It's pretty interesting. Apparently he had, uh, we also found out he had several rooms that he had rented. I'm great. How are you? Um... Precisely, if we swallow up what MSM has told us, we've got some trouble. We're not that gullible. Exactly. <laughs> Yielder. What did he say? Uh, what was the question? I fell asleep, missed a lot of the news, Shauna said. I'm too overcome with sadness to give him any thoughts, uh, Marianne said. I know. It's really, it's really hard to talk about it. Surprise girlfriend denied knowing anything. Uh, Big Ralph, I'm not surprised about that at all. I'm not surprised about anything with the girlfriend. Uh, I don't know what her part is. Robin said, that doesn't bother me. I thought there had to be more than one shooter. Uh, good morning, Barbara. You know, it's it's odd because at this, at one, on one hand, I could see him taking in 10 bags, going in there, bringing stuff up, even having somebody else maybe help him to the room. Uh, I can see that, you know, easily. I could see somebody setting up those that many guns as well. Um 
you wrote said he found some suspicious information about the girlfriend. Is that the fact that she was in Dubai? Because some people are coming out and, and saying that's surprising, but they that was talked about the first day. I'm not surprised he probably sent the girlfriend away for vacay. Yeah, and did you hear what she said? That she thought she was be being sent uh, away to be, that he, he was going to break up with her, and that's why he sent her the money as well. I mean, that's a pretty nice breakup gift, if you ask me. $100,000, not bad, you know? About her marriage and about her social security number. What about her marriage and her social security number? I think she was married, what, twice? And she moved in with uh, this guy before she was divorced, I believe. I'm fine. How are you? So, you know, that's a little bit, you know, not unheard of, but uh, a little different. Two at one time. Yeah, she wasn't married. I, I, I mean, there were some people that were saying that she was married to two people at one time. And I don't think that's necessarily the case. Many horrible people have family that are surprised by their heinous crimes. Exactly, Marianne. I believe that was Marianne who said that. Yeah, so that's not surprising. Where are you from? I'm from the United States. Where are you from? Now, here's some things that the, uh, the sheriff came out. He said that there were cameras in the room, but the cameras in the room were not filming. Now, I know some were, there was a camera that was in the, the, the keyhole, or the, I don't know if it was a keyhole or the, the peephole, I'm not sure. Supposedly some outside and a baby monitor that was inside. I don't know if he forgot to turn it on, they were supposed to be on or not, I don't know. Not sure. Well, welcome from Sweden. He also checked into the room prior to when the police said. Now, Euro, they said he checked in on the 28th. What have you heard? I haven't heard anything different. Antonio, she said she used the money to buy her mother a house. Wow. I mean, I think that would probably go a, a long way in the Philippines. $100,000 is a pr pretty good chunk of change. Uh, they also said that, that's what they said, but it's not true. Yeah, I, what day, what day did he supposedly check in? Uh, they all, the sheriff also said that he led some type of secret life. And the way he said it, um, he didn't say, you know, like that he led a, a, an odd life or a silent life or quiet life. Uh, yeah, he was already in that room on the 27th. I heard that number 27 bantered around and I, I didn't know which one it was. Because uh, I know he was, they, they said that he was at the Ogden, I believe, um, at another hotel. He'd gone there and something happened and then, you know, then he came over there to, uh, to the Mandalay Bay. So it's hard to say what the numbers are. I've seen proof, but the police say the 28th. What's your proof, Euro? He checked in Thursday. Marianne, that's, that's the 28th. That's what I've heard. Euro saying he heard something different. A hundred investigators looking into this guy. And it's odd that uh, pretty much they're saying that he scrubbed off of the Internet altogether. Uh, and they also, the sheriff last night, said he collected guns for a long time. And, you know, he had a, he had a lot of guns. What is it, like 47 altogether? You know, and, and what I want to ask you is, you know, with that many guns, did anybody see the interview that they did with his brother? Uh, where his brother started to say he's an arm, and, and it was like he was going to say he was an arms dealer or something. Hey, Chicago Pops. And then he stopped himself. I thought that was pretty unusual. And, and when the brother stopped himself, uh, you know, he made a, he made a, uh, not like a joke about it, but he kept talking about it to make it really obvious. What do you think about that, Don? It's all very strange, Robin said. Good morning, Josette. Was the brother wearing an earpiece? I didn't see that, Shauna. But he was he was standing there. One ear wasn't seen on camera, so I don't know. I know people have said that he had an earpiece, so I thought that was strange. It is all very strange. And what was that slip? He basically said, Barbara, that, you know, he said, my, I can't believe my brother did this. You know, he... He, he gambled, he went places, he was an, you know, like arms, almost like saying arms dealer. He didn't say arms dealer, he said arm, almost arm. And people are thinking he was saying arms dealer. And he stopped and he, got, and he really made 
a big deal out of, you know, stopping there. Shooter was on, yes, the anti-anxiety medications. We talked about that a little bit yesterday, Marianne. Or Army. Yeah, but he's, he didn't say, he, he said he's an arm, and he maybe, it could have been maybe he's an Army something. It could have been. I mean, I don't know. I know people are saying CIA, uh, FBI, there are a lot of uh, uh, theories going around. He seemed rehearsed. It did not seem natural. I can, I'll say that. Do you have that interview? I don't. I may be able to find it, but it was on, it's been on the news. Did they talk about the hurricane proof windows? Did he shoot them out? Um, they said yesterday, I heard by yesterday's, uh, it, like in the morning, they said it was, or was the day before, the sheriff said it was a hammer that he used. Hey, Robert, and a lot of people are saying that it couldn't have been a hammer. That would have been, you know, the, the glass was too thick. It was bulletproof, this, that, and the other. I have no idea about the glass. Yeah, I know. Just because you take anxiety medications doesn't make you a, a, a killer. I don't think people are saying that. Hopefully they're not. It was a sledgehammer. Uh, Marianne said she read. Thank you for the flowers, Robert. The room delivery for food was for more than one person and was earlier than that Friday. Yeah, Jerry, and um, oh, you were saying that he took Valium. The, the, I guess they were saying, you know, that room service, I mean, you could order more than one plate of food. I don't know. And it had his name on it. What, the sledgehammer? Are you saying, Euro? Uh, morning. <laughs> Thank you, Josette. I know people on anxiety medication and they are just as normal as the rest of us. Absolutely. Yeah, I mean, it said two guests on the, the ticket. Is that what you're saying, Tricky? He could have picked someone up to eat with. Exactly. Could have been somebody who was helping him take suitcases up to the room, you know. The receipt had a name and specific, specified two guests. We know the girlfriend, Platinum. What does that mean, Jerry? And two mils. Time to install metal detectors. <laughs> yeah, I guess they're saying now that uh, they, they're going to maybe beef up security uh, in the in the casinos. There, there's been talk about it, you know, what they should do. And as I said, these casinos, they're, they're, there's no security. I mean, they, they do have security, but they're up there watching to see if you're going to, uh, you know, take the money. Yeah. And it takes a lot of money for security, but, you know, they have, they have, Las Vegas has it. You invite some random person to eat room service in your room. Well, Tricky, I mean, I've known people who've, uh, who've actually done stuff like that. So I was just saying, I'm not counting it out. Girlfriend's credit card platinum one was left for Paddock to use. Whoa. IV has money a lot, Jay Brown said. Plus, in the pressure, presser said source of radicalization. Yeah, I've heard a lot of, uh, not a lot, but uh, several sources outside of the United States believe that there was a connection with ISIS. That would suck, though. I'm not ready for it, Robert said. Your life must be more exciting than mine, Susan, because that is just weird. I've, I've seen people invite homeless people to weddings outside to, to help watch the area. Trust me, I've seen a lot. The Las Vegas cop said that. You wrote, say what the Las Vegas cop said, please, again, because I, I, I missed it. it. It is strange about the girlfriend that the, some of the neighbors were saying that she traveled a lot, that she was gone sometimes for, like, months at a time, and they would see her, and then she'd be gone again. So I'm not sure why, you know, maybe, it, obviously, I don't think she worked, uh, you know, traveling so much. It didn't sound like she traveled for her job or anything like that. But, you know, it's interesting. She did come back. I mean, she didn't have to come back. She could have fled. Girlfriend in Dubai. Yeah, I've seen, I saw the pictures saying they could learn how to prevent it by finding out more about the source of radicalization. Okay. He was Jason Bourne, probably. She might be an agent. Uh, I know, Barbara, that's been what some people have said. And, I mean, I can't, again, you can't tell by looking at people. You couldn't tell by looking at him that he's a mass murderer. So, good morning, Lee. How are you? So, I mean, it's really hard to tell. She's a gold digger. Eh. I don't trust the FBI. Well, 
Does anybody really trust the FBI? Inconsistent since they say no sign of terrorism. Yeah, is the guy dead? Sorry, haven't been keeping up. Well, the killer's dead. He died that night. Awfully quiet and covert. Yeah, there, there's something about this whole thing that just absolutely doesn't fit. It doesn't fit that there's a 64-year-old man that's lived this quiet life, no background of, of criminal activity, uh, no information really about him, collects a lot of weapons, uh, has a lot, you know, 47, that's a pretty good stash of weapons, has stuff like, yeah, it does stink to high heavens, has like ammonia nitrate all over the place, has that other, and, and I didn't know what the, what the sheriff was talking about, pays cash for homes, uh, that, that he had some, uh, some explosive that if he had used it, it could have taken off, you know, like the side of Mandalay Bay. They also found a note, and I've heard nothing about it. Yeah, they, they said it was not a suicide note. Pictures are out there of him at any Trump rally with Peak. Well, I don't know if that's him, Marianne. People have been wondering, is that him? Like Napalm, yeah, Renee. And it's something I, I didn't hear exactly what it was, but it could have done a lot of damage. <clears throat> yeah, that, that one with the hat, they say everybody's saying is fake. Yeah, I don't know what the note was, but they said it was significant. They, they were saying that people who are talking about it saying that note has significance. I don't know. Was it instructions? I have no idea. Uh, Robin said, I agree. I hope the truth comes out, but I doubt it will. I know people. Uh, yeah, I, I know, Robin. I, I really hate Texas Kilo. I think they will. Um, I don't know. I just have a feeling that they're keeping all this stuff quiet. Not a suicide note. Correct. She came back. I think that's significant. I do too, Lisa. Oh, yeah. Euro. I think there's so much more to this story that it's going to be uh, amazing when we, if we find out stuff, if stuff's leaked. <clears throat> because, I mean, it, there's... Have you noticed, like, for the guy who went into Tennessee uh, and shot those people and killed them, at, at, you know, at that... In, where was it? Um, Antioch near Nashville... We haven't heard another single thing about him other than the fact that I saw it, it said that he it was in re revenge for uh, Charleston and Dylan Roof. Yeah. And somebody was saying that uh, he was a follower of Islam. Well, was he or wasn't he? Why aren't we hearing anything about that? Are, you know, and we're not, we don't have to have that information, meaning it, we're not entitled to information. We really aren't entitled to it. But I think, for me, yeah, Andy's alive. For me, there's a um, sort of a disconnect. They don't want to say anything about Islam. And so everything that, that sort of smacks of that is kept quiet. And even of ISIS, because that involves Islam, you know, Muslims. I feel at this point we should demand answers. That shooting is against the narrative. I agree, but the info coming out is inconsistent. It is. It really is. Okay. <laughs> okay, Metal. I don't know what you want me to call you, Metal, but I can just con continue to call you Metal, I guess. Yeah, there, there's a lot of inconsistent information. And uh, Robin said she guarantees the previous shooter was Islam. Okay. I may call you Find from now, every now and then. Trump lifted our spirits here yesterday. Marianne, I thought that was so good. Um, I, I, had, I guess, you know, he'd wanted to stay like two days, but, you know, I think it was probably, you know, not, I don't know, maybe not safe, not good. He probably would have interfered with, you know, traffic and stuff like that, and it maybe wouldn't have looked great. Why is there no one out, one bit of anything out on the web on this guy? Exactly. That's the really weird stuff. Sheriff very elusive about the yellow note, but swore it wasn't suicide note. I know. Why yellow note? Why, is, that, is that a significance for somebody who deals in, in this type of stuff? Do you know what, you know, why it was on yellow paper? Was that a, just a coincidence? ISIS claims responsibility right away, and they've never made a false claim in the West before. Euro, that's, uh, I, I wrote an article about that. I, I totally agree. I don't know if he was radicalized by them. I don't know if they, if they helped him, paid him money or whatever. But from the stuff that I'm finding, at least there should be an investigation further into his connection with uh, ISIS. 
And I, I was just surprised that they came out so fast to say no connection. First Lady is a sweetheart, like seeing her going with him. Yes, and I, I love to see him go in the hospitals, talk to people. The one, the one man, Thomas Gunderson, I believe is his name, got shot in the leg. And he said, I am not sitting down. I am standing for my president. Oh, that brought tears to my eyes. Other odd thing is they gave him an Arabic name. Yep, and they rarely ever do that. And, and it was uh, America or something, A-M-E-R-I-K-I, -I, which meant, you know, the American. He showed a lot of compassion, Renee. It was so great. Hello, Marco. How are you? And, and so, you know, I, I think that um, I think it lifted its spirits of just of us, the nation, looking at it. It's a rare honor they give out. I know, Euro. They, they would never do that because they don't like Americans per se, because especially if you're Christian, you know, or not is following Islam. So uh, they did say that he converted to Islam months before. I don't care if you're white, black, or purple. Anyone can be conned by ISIS and Islam if they don't know God. Exactly, Robin. Hope all is well. As, I hope all is well as with you. How are you? But I can see them taking credit because so many died and were hurt. But Lisa, there have been instances in the past where a lot of people died. They did not take credit. I heard Paddock tried to hit three oil tankers by airport, and the concert would have killed more. Yeah, concerts often find more zealous uh, converts. Yep. So, yeah, I mean, he could have done a lot more damage, I guess. Maybe he wasn't as good of a shot, but he seemed to know a lot. You know, the thing about him, he seemed to know a lot about weapons, about ammunition, about elevated angles, you know, this, that, and the other, that the ordinary person doesn't seem to know you know like if you've got no military or fbi cia whatever connection um it said he bought the guns and he bought a lot of them from one guy from one of the gun uh shops and he's a pilot yeah a lot of information they're saying now he was targeting something else yeah they yeah they keep saying the other things guys from the gun range he went to uh, aviation class i didn't get the about the gun range the clips also yeah he he knew uh, certainly just a lot of information that that your average joe doesn't know um spencer said we will see the same degree of truth here as we saw for waco probably spencer please share all of this yes please do uh it's a lot of you know good information for people to kind of see Uh, good. Jason Aldean is thanking God. Yeah, you know, I, I think so. Middle, his, uh, his wife apparently was down in one of the tents sort of closer to the Mand Mandalay Bay side. And she said when she heard the shots fired, fired she, the, the thoughts that came to her head was, uh, I'll never get to hold my child. Because as you know, she's pregnant with their first child together, uh, a little boy. So I think that, you know, Jason Aldean, I know canceled uh, his other concerts. People are traumatized, Cal, um, and I, uh, and uh, you know, rightly so. And they're going to be traumatized for a very long time, if not forever. You can't go through something like that and not be impacted. The FBI guy made me laugh when he said people trusted the FBI. I know, Renee. I said, what? Where have you been? What cave have you been living in? <laughs> We are definitely in shock out here. I know, Mary, and and, and you know, this got away. And you know, was that him? You know, I, I'm just that that I'm just not sure of. And you know, they we've heard we've heard nothing about that. We've heard nothing about him. You know. Uh, being caught, who it was, any information on him whatsoever. Just very strange. Shooter claim was unfounded, happened after the Mayweather fight. So there wasn't there wasn't a shooting at all? Is that what you're saying? Sheriff was sure he was planning an escape. Now, did you did anybody hear about that? How did they how were they so sure that he was planning an escape? What were the details? Anybody got details on that?
Josette said, I don't know if you guys heard back in 1990, our, co our country has held was held hostage. Um, Parliament was on TV stations. Our prime minister was shot in the leg by a bunch of Muslims. They are free people and died. Uh, yeah. Yeah, the, the live stream was having a little problem, and now we're back. I have no idea what happened with the live stream over there on YouTube. But anyway, you you guys are back. Uh, didn't see that many spent shells on the floor in the room. I know, Kali. Interesting. I hope President Trump tells us the truth about this. It, well, pink, assuming they tell him and he gets that information. They have room service receipts for two. Yeah, but they they don't leave receipts. That's a good point, Think. Yeah, it's back up, yeah. That room was a photo shoot, somebody said. Gala Luxor states a guy dressed as security was being chased during the event. Should have been a hundred hundreds of shells everywhere. And was that they're trying to say like the security guard who was shot through the door. You know, my thoughts were, if that many bullets came through the door when the security guard was there, that, sec that door would have been blown out and that security guard would have been shot all over. The door they breached was not damaged. Yeah, and, and, and basically, he was supposedly shot through the door. So, I don't know. I mean, that's a little odd to me, too. The dead man also didn't have the big 13 tattoo on the neck, Renee said. I didn't see that. Uh, came through the wall, not the door. Okay. So they're saying it didn't go through the door. 200 bullets shot through the wall, Sheriff said. Okay. I wonder if YouTube or someone else is trying to silence you. Oh, Robin, probably. Because they've already, they did that the other day. Officials said he shot 200 rounds. Yeah. That's, uh, that's a lot. So it had to be out of that, the, the probably the, the same gun, uh, that was that he made an automatic rifle out of, which is which is really strange. Again, the whole thing, he, he knew about how to do that. Is that on YouTube? Can you go to YouTube and find out how to do that? I'm just asking, you know, would that be on YouTube? Where do you go find that? The dark web? Is it just out there on the Internet? Machine gun will do that. He had belt-driven gear hooked up. Thanks, Obama, for bump stocks legalized under Obama seven years ago, Don said. Uh, they told the same lie about the front door of the Branch Davidian compound. No shots were fired from the inside through the door. Spencer said, everything is on YouTube. I know, Shonda, you can find out how to, I guess, do just about anything. It'll be interesting to see if he had any information, if we get that information, any information in his house, what was on his computers, was there things like this, was it... Did he spend a lot of time looking at it? This morning I saw new footage of shots fired from the fourth floor. Uh, does not open. Windows don't open on the first through fifth. Yeah, I, I still not seen that on the fourth floor. I had a with slide the fire very difficult to control. Windows. Build a bomb on YouTube. Yeah. Somebody was saying yesterday, I guess, uh, on one of the news stations that you could you could build a bomb very easily and you could find out how to do it and all that. Google will have everything he looked at his whole life. Saw that and cannot see it myself. Yeah, I, I still have yet to see anything on the fourth floor. Still have yet to see anything on the twelfth floor. Uh, you know, lights flashing could be from the cars down below or anything else. Saw the shots on the floor, lower floors on Monday. Uh, Renee said, YouTube is a mess. I don't even get notifications anymore. Yeah, I know, Josette. Pretty, pretty weird what that's what's caused there. If you guys were about to at the halfway point, if you could just retweet, that would be great. Just saying the house has agreed. Oh, you just saw that. $10 billion for the wall. Yay. <laughs> why is gun possession more human right than health care? Marco, you, you, why, do, why are we on health care? We're talking about Las Vegas right now. Uh, Facebook removed an interesting post from Outlaw Morgan views on the shooting. They would have info on that lower floor. Yeah, and there were people, other people outside of the U.S. who said there was nothing coming on the 12th, there was nothing being fired on the 12th floor, that there was a lights there hours after the shooting coming out of the, the 12th floor room. I use the Tor browser for researching things that could be used to frame me. <laughs> Didn't even know there was one. 
Read the Constitution and History of USA. Who is Outlaw Morgan? I have never heard of that person either. Cully had scope on Outlaw Morgan. Okay, so have to uh, follow Cully's scope. You And they removed it. How weird. Fourth floor was a disco ball like that, not a shooter, they said. Okay, that makes sense. It's kind of an odd floor to have a disco ball, but okay. There's footage of the fourth floor flashing lights before the shooting. Lisa, Marianne just said that, would, that was a disco ball. Marianne, is there any way um, that you could find out if the windows on the Mandalay Bay below the fifth floor, are they able to be opened? And are any windows in that Mandalay Bay uh, able to be open? It doesn't seem to me that that would make sense that they are able to open any windows. And if none of the windows were blown out, then, you know, come on. Yeah, I always bring my disco ball to Vegas, and especially on the, on the fourth floor. Barbara, uh, I, you know, yeah, Marianne, please search that because greetings, Don. how are you? Uh, people have said that about the windows. I found nothing to say about the windows. Only windows broken were the upper floors. Right, Julia? The 32nd floor, that's it. That's all I've heard. It was a strobe light, they said, Marianne said. And Marianne is in Vegas. So I, I would like to see if, you know, I'd like a definitive answer on Mandalay Bay windows. I mean, I, I'm almost at the point I want to call and say, hey, do the windows open? And maybe that's what I'll have to do. But I want to know, do those windows open below the fifth floor? It, it's unusual if they do. There, I don't know of any windows in Vegas that open. I think some windows would open so firefighters could get in. But Cully, the firefighters would just break them. Lower floors could still be meeting in ballrooms. That's true. Very good point, Barbara. Very true. And it would, it would be good just to know. And was, um, was this true or am I just imagining the fact that they said that those upper floors, like the 32nd floor of Mandalay Bay and, and some other floors there, they're owned by somebody else. Like they, they have been bought by somebody else. So the Mandalay Bay doesn't actually own them. Is that true? Because it seemed like I heard that statement yesterday. You know, I don't know, Renee. No, timeshare. So, now let's not cuss in here if you want to stay. No cussing. Um, and if that's true, that might explain why he, you know, because if, if that's true, let's say that all of that, that area in several floors were, yes, Cully, uh, so let's say several floors were bought out, right? It was a timeshare. Maybe they didn't have the, the, uh, their surveillance cameras in there, you know, like in the, in the ceiling like they have in the casinos or on that floor. Maybe they'd been disconnected. Maybe the people didn't want them that had, that had bought the timeshares. I don't know. That would be interesting to know, too, if those were there. Or a red stripper brings her own ball. <laughs> oh, my God. <clears throat> you specifically asked for this room according to the hotel. Yes, Marianne, that's what they said. But I'm wondering is, you know, in the hallway, are there, are there cameras in the hallway? Or were they maybe disconnected because of the fact that these were privately owned suites and not really a part of Mandalay Bay because you know, they've been sold? That would be interesting to know. So, you know, I don't, I don't know if there's any way to find that out. I tried to find some information yesterday about Mandalay Bay, and it was pretty, pretty quiet. The only thing that I have been able to find about Mandalay Bay, and people were complaining about this before the shooting, is that it seemed to be very lax. It seemed to be uh, the room service wasn't great, you know. The people seemed to not to really be into, into uh, customer service. That was some of the complaints on Yelp. Her casino competed his room, comped, oh, comped his room because he's a big, yeah, they, they do that in Vegas a lot. Because <laughs> you're spending all that money, they want you to stay. They'll pay for your room, no big deal. Uh, Spencer said it's been reported that the owners of Mandalay Bay have given a lot of money to the Southern Poverty Law Center, CARE, and other radical left-wing organizations. I haven't heard of that. Uh, I don't know where, if, I'd like to know your source on that, Spencer. 
Uh, there is more questions and answers to this horrific matter. Yes. And, and, the, and the bad thing is, the one of the reasons, and I, I think you're probably thinking the same way too, that we want answers and that we need answers because things like this can happen again. If we don't know very much information, uh, then we're not going to be able to know how to avoid anything like this in the future. You saw that about the donations Rhonda said too. Does anybody, can anybody get a, um, a source to me? I'd really love to see the source. Because I, I know these casinos give, you know, we're finding out who they give to all the time. Seems an odd thing that they would give to that some way. Ah, yeah, well, I'd, li I'd like to see the source. I heard it's on the employee website. I'll have to try to go look. It's on their site. Okay. That needs to be looked into. I gave to GoFundMe. It's going directly to pay for medical funeral expenses. Yeah, and, you know, it's really great. They they raised uh, the other day. It was like $3 million, and that's amazing. Okay, Coley, I appreciate that. Yeah, uh, MGM Grand asked their employees to give to those left-wing organizations. <laughs> And remember, these are all, these are union-based, right? It's union. It's up to 9.1 million. That is amazing, Marianne. MGM CEO, his wife worked for Michelle Obama. Ugh. Okay. Yeah, that, whew. That is beautiful. Nine, over nine million dollars. Amazing. Yeah, we need Trump to win in 2020. We certainly do. <laughs> need to keep it going. Follow the dots. Yeah, follow the dots and the money. Care has a fund. Care has a GoFundMe. For, is that what you're saying? A fund going, he already won. Yep, we just need to keep him winning. What's wrong with her working for Michelle? It's people giving $5, 10 etc. Yep. Did you see her racist mouth moving about white men? Yes, I did, Renee. You know, it, it's, it's amazing because Michelle Obama came out the other day. Here's some of the things that she said. Uh, that said that many people don't trust politics because the Republican Party, now here you go, men, said the Republican Party is all men and all white. So there you go. And she said one side of the room, it's literally gray and white. Literally, that's the color palette on one side of the room. On the other side of the room, there are yellows and blues and whites and greens. Physically, uh, there's a difference in color in the tone because one side has all men, all white. On the other side, some women, some people of color. She said she would see that and think, no wonder people don't trust politics. We're not ever noticing what these rooms look like, she said adding that the problem of underrepresentation isn't limited to the political world until we are ready to fight for that, which means some people have to be willing to give up their seats to make room, or you need to be ready to add more seats, I think we're going to continue to struggle. So I think, you know, I used to think that maybe it was Obama that was so racist. I'm thinking maybe Michelle was even a bit more racist than Obama. Shallow bo <laughs> care equals bad news. Yes. Yeah, I think they're both kind of racist. And I mean, and again, here we go going after. Uh, okay, go block yourself. There you go. See you later. Um, going after men again. So, you know, it, it's no coincidence that they're going after men. And this whole thing is going to be, this whole election coming up, is going to be about men, white men especially. And there's, there is an absolute, if you, if you want to talk about a war on something, there's an absolute war right now going on on white men, period. And, and you can read it a lot. Oh, really? Okay, here, try that on for size. See if that is. Um, so, you know. Yeah, the black-white relations are worse than ever, thanks to Obama. He really started it. He really did. 
And he just continues to do that. Or she does, really. Our color palette was a lot more diverse with the Republican presidential candidates. We have a lot more diversity. <laughs> Got a war on, on Cully. Uh, they want white genocide, Renee said. <clears throat> well, it, you know, it, again, it is... Uh, it is a, a way of just, 44 is to blame for all this division right now. Oh, come on. You, I think you're in the wrong scope. Uh, you have some, yeah, whatever. Uh, I, I think that, I, I think, you know, like the article I wrote last week, you have to know that that there is a war on, on white males. And if, if you don't know that, you better you'd better continue to look because, it's going to happen. Oh, wow. Let me try again. There we go. There we go. So, block party. Well, let's have a block party. Yeah, Obama. Oh, you know what? I thought you were talking about Bush. Sorry. My bad. <laughs> Trying to read and count at the same time. Sorry. My bad. I know. Um, and I don't know if you uh, if you read the article I wrote last night <laughs> that I wrote last night in regards to a guy who says that thank you think who who uh, who says that he is a, a leader in the faith community man he uh, is in the Harvard like the Memorial Church or something I can't remember the name if you can go there to SusanKnowles.com that would be great um, and look at the article I wrote. He basically came out and uh, said that he's using God, and I, I've seen a lot of people using God lately to get their way. They're trying to convince you that they're godly people, so now all of a sudden, when they weren't talking about God before, now they're starting to talk about God to get you to go along with what they're saying and believe in what they're saying. Part of discernment that you have to be <clears throat> knowledgeable about and careful about. I'm losing my voice. Um, but this man... <clears throat> basically said that if uh, if America doesn't uh, you know get into and, and accept gun control and, and vote for gun control, then basically God is going to wash his hands of you and, 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 and implying you're going to be punished because of it. Now this is the same guy, this this uh, this leader in the faith community that called our president a white supremacist. And, and, you know, just said all kinds of accusations against him. And it's in my article. I wish you would share these articles. I want people to see them. I don't want people to be deceived by people. There are other stories about her Mandalay Bay fundraising for far left wing radicals as well. Uh, Spencer said, and when you say, oh, there, okay, Mandalay Bay. So I guess we need to check into Mandalay Bay uh, a little bit more. Josette said the media is trying their best to tie this to Michelle Obama, uh, to POTUS. Michelle Obama is a very bitter woman. She misses being in the spotlight. Hillary used Wonder Woman. Why would they allow God a break? <laughs> I know, Spencer. God is armed. He wants his children to be armed. Yeah, there's nothing in the Bible that says that you're not to arm yourself and protect yourself. Look, uh, look the first murder was with a rock. Yeah, I mean, you know... What did David, if he had gone out against Goliath, uh, you know? <clears throat> Susan's articles are fantastic, fact-filled, and resources quoted. Thank you, Shauna. <clears throat> White Christian men are targets. For sure, Robin, for sure. Yeah, I know. Trump is not a racist. And, and, and everybody in their right minds knows that, you know? People use hammers to kill a lot. There was a woman the other day in the news, Barbara, and I, I didn't talk about it, uh, but she took two frying pans and killed her, I don't know if it was her husband or boyfriend, she killed him using two frying pans. He died like three weeks later from the damage caused by her doing that, according to the article. So uh, do we get rid of frying pans now? Yes, Renee, she used two of them. Not sure why he didn't take them away from her, but, uh, you know, yes. Hey, Nancy. Right. So get rid of your frying pans. Get rid of everything else in your house that could be used as a weapon. I have to remember that. Right. 
And you know what? Get rid of your cell phones. You, you're not going to, Cully, we're not going to cook anymore. Cooking is bad. We talked about that yesterday. Remember? Uh, barbecuing, things like that, really bad, right? We don't do that anymore. No more forks. No more. Don't use can openers. Very bad. <laughs> he may have been asleep. No, I, you know, Renee, he got up and he started running. He actually ran into, uh, I don't know if it was a business or a house, trying to get away from her. And maybe she was a lot bigger than him. I don't know. Was that where it was in Austin, Texas? I. Hammers are used in murders far more than all long guns combined, Spencer was saying. Cast iron pan is heavy. I, I don't even know how she could have picked that up and hit somebody with it. We already talked about the Vegas shooter. So you might want to go back and, and listen to that first part. Full auto, yeah, full auto frying pans. I'm telling you. I don't know. I mean, that's how crazy and upside down everything is. Not fast enough. Toothbrushes can be used as a weapon. In fact, anything can be. That's right, Lee. Exactly. So, you know, we all know that this is, that's, this is the left's agenda. This is exactly what they do every single time. Assault pans, there you go. Uh, they come out, they, any opportunity they get, they will do this uh, until we, they hope that we are, you know, defenseless. Yeah, if they give Antifa a Pepsi, they, Pepsi, they throw it at you. So, you, you know, I mean, this is like the absolute uh, wrong time. What about my family? What about your family? What are you talking about, Glow? Uh, look at prison system weapons. Exactly. They use anything they can find, and it works. Shanks, whatever, you know. If I said guns don't kill the left, does I'd be in trouble. Oh, the left. Oh, yeah, Stancy. And it's funny because they can say anything that they want, meaning the left, whether it's a lie, whether not, whether it's unfounded or founded, and it's okay. But we can't. And now you're in trouble. <laughs> Pepsi must be from the South. Now Dawn. Tactical pins are a huge selling selling these days as well. Yeah. I had a guy on my uh, uh, show who was an ex, I think, CIA agent. This was a couple of years back. He had the tactical pins for sale. And, uh, you know, you might want to try to find that show or if you're interested... Uh, contact me. I'll try to find his name. You might want to buy those pins if you're, in, you know, if you're interested in that type of thing. They look like regular pins, but they're used as weapons uh, for defense. No, we would give them a doc. Oh, a Dr. Pepper. Oh, <laughs> shanks. There you go, Nancy. I'm going to be ticked if the pacify the Dems with some gun control. You know, you already have some Republicans who are talking about the fact that, uh, you know, we should maybe even outlaw what they use to uh, make that weapon an automatic weapon. Come on now. We have all these laws already on the books that we need. Doing something like that to a weapon is illegal anyway. If you can't own an automatic rifle, you know, uh, uh, then you, you can't have something to make it in an automatic rifle. I mean, ugh. Opened my safe last night, but none of my gun got out and killed anyone. I know, Texas Kilo. Caught a bump stock. Okay. So, basically, if, if I guess we could outlaw those, but are they used for anything else? Are bump stocks used for anything else? Is it only to take a, a semi-automatic and make it an automatic? Is that their only use? I know, you know, a gun in and of its by, uh, by itself are not going to do anything. Susan, several stories on web about care and MGM. Okay. One on CBN and WND, Rhonda said. And that's the MGM, not the Mandalay Bay, right? You can make it auto without bump stocks, so they've got no argument, right? Bump stocks were approved by the ATF during Obama's terms, Lisa said. I think the Republicans are going to throw the left a bone so they'll simmer down. And, and, and here's the problem with that. They never simmer down. 
they take that, they'll want something else. When are the Republicans ever going to learn? You can take a string and a round key ring and turn anything into a, a semi-automatic into a full auto. See, I, you know, I don't, I don't, uh, I haven't looked any of that up on the YouTube. <laughs> so we're going to, we're going to uh, start outlawing everything. Binary trigger, it is still semi-auto, but fire twice as fast. Okay. Bump stocks will probably be outlawed as a compromise. I know Chicago Pops, it really will be. And, and they're not willing at all, not one bit, to listen to anything about the killings in Chicago. Not one bit. It's only about this type of thing. It's only about what they want to try to blame the Republicans on. Now, the, the people are saying that there's information, too, that they've found that they're going to be bringing out. Again, no sources that I have that, that I can corroborate this with but there's going to be things that come out that show that this guy you know was on the left was anti-republican and it's going to make uh, the they say the democrats are trying to make us focus on the guns right now because they don't want us to to use that information against them now i don't know if it's true or not we'll wait and see if any information comes out i went through the police academy yeah i do have that background in the police academy we use shotguns uh, there and shotguns and you know 38s nine millimeters things like that we didn't we didn't have semi-automatics or anything like that i have fired an m16 like i said a long time ago he was a criminal why give thugs a strategic advantage how many died of guns in chicago in the past month a lot i mean they just die every weekend in chicago and nobody says a word about it Nobody on the left, that is. Outlawing bump stocks will make no difference. I already have a great idea for a replacement mechanism that would do the same thing, Spencer said. 59 a month in Chicago, K. Zippy said. Your 9 Miller city semi auto. Okay. But I don't have, I don't have, uh, I guess I meant to say automatic, sorry, full automatic. <clears throat> But yeah, I mean, I know the difference of semi-automatic. You have to pull the trigger each time. It's not just going to pull the trigger once and everything empty out, all the magazine empty out. But I mean, all of this, there's just, there's just too much that has been unanswered. And again, I don't know if we're ever going to really get to the bottom of everything. Diane Feinstein, as, as you would as you know, that she's the first one that came out and wanted to outlaw the bump stocks. That woman has been been vying for for gun control for 30 years. She's tried everything that she can do for gun control. And and I think she would you know she wants to get it before she retires, if and when she actually does retire. Why doesn't Oprah do something in Chicago? She's got money. Y you know, Antonio, she cares about as much about Chicago as, until it, what benefits her, I think. You know, I don't, I don't know uh, how much she really cares about the people of Chicago. Maybe she does, but maybe not enough. I mean, she opens up schools in other countries. She does that. I, I don't know why not help Chicago. Why isn't Obama helping Chicago? I mean, I think Obama's way to help Chicago would be to brainwash them into being good liberals. Nobody on the left wants to talk about what causes the evil. Yep. Sanctity of life. And, and again, it's, I think we kind of, um, okay, thank you, Texas. Hope to see you uh, tomorrow. Um, I, that's what I was saying kind of yesterday. We're not talking about the root cause of any of this, where people's hearts are, the godly, godlessness. We're talking about only about putting the, you know, the big Band-Aid on something. Uh, and that's what the left tries to do. They, they don't want to talk about, you know, any problems that they may be causing, like it, with Chicago. I thought Brady Bill was going to stop all the gun violence. Exactly, Sippy. Oba Oprah left Chicago and never looked back. Yeah, I think she lives in Los Angeles, actually, because what happened when we had a water shortage, as I recall, she was one of those people that just kept watering. 
it is a heart issue, Barbara, and it nobody wants to really look at it. It we don't want to, you know, we don't want to talk about God anymore. We want to take God out of the pledge of allegiance. We want to take God out of everything, uh, out of, you know, out of our schools, out of our homes, out of our churches even. And then we wonder, oh gosh, what's happening? Why is everything going so downhill? Eh, I don't know. She has many, many homes, uh, Kali. Yep, she does. Yeah, no absolutes. Exactly. Good versus evil. We need our Savior. Yep. But nobody, you know, even the churches don't want to talk about God anymore. We want to talk about good times, you know. <clears throat> yep, when we take out, there will always be lead to lawlessness. I mean, we don't even, you know, most of the churches anymore, we don't even talk about the Bible. You know, the, we, only, we just want to be grace-based when we do talk about the Bible. We don't want to talk about the full Bible. Because why? The Bible talks about things that you need to do and that there are consequences for your actions. Nobody wants to say Jesus. That's right. It's mostly a left-wing anger issue, Spencer said. <laughs> Bible Genesis to Revolution. It is all part of the Bible. Willie Nelson's wife beat him with a frying pan and did not jump off the stove. Willie Nelson? I never heard that. There's power, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. There's power in his name. Yes, Jesus is the truth, the way, and the life. Absolutely. I'm so tired of the churches not confronting evil, Robin said. Yeah, churches don't want to talk about evil because you may not come back next week. You may not put money in the collection plate. It's our only ancient guidebook of survival techniques. And, and it is as true today as it was then. They don't want their toes stepped on in church, Carol said. Yep. Yeah, it's a pretty sad fact. Um, oh, I, t I hear you. That's why Willie sang with the twang. Funny. Seeker-friendly church is a ploy of the enemy. Absolutely. Lull you in there. And, you know, I, I guess all of you saw the uh, Senate Intelligence Committee. We talked about it briefly yesterday. Uh, they came out. They have no information. All they're doing is chasing their tails. Thank you. Thank you, Barbara. Thank you for the compliment. Um, all they're doing is wasting time, wasting taxpayer money. I don't know about you. I want a full accounting of how much money and time is being wasted, how much money the taxpayer money is, be is going in to an investigation that will never end. I want to know how much Mueller is being paid. I want to know how much they paid him so far, how many hours that have been uh, given to, you know, chasing his tail and everybody else is around about Russia. Yeah, I know, it, you know, it, it, this is ridiculous. We paid so much money. Smaller government means transparency. Yes, it does. And I don't think we're getting that. 90 plus percent of the gun murders are committed by left-wing shooters, Spencer said. Um, you may want to look into this, too. Somebody brought up the fact of seeing some talk of this. I have no idea if there's a connection. Thank you so much. Love Canada. Thank you. Hey, Veritas, how are you? Uh, somebody is trying to make a connection between the uh, 60, was he 66-year-old man who shot people uh, like uh, Steve Scalise on the field uh, and that he was from Texas, that this guy had, the guy at Las Vegas had a connection to Texas. They were similar in the fact of their ages. Uh, thank you, Shauna. So I don't know. You may want to just keep a keep an eye open for that. Do some investigation into that. I don't know if there's any connection whatsoever. It, the only connection that I see right now, yeah, they did even look similar. Nancy was a little eerie. Uh, is the same age, and the fact that it was a mass shooting, and uh, you know all that type of thing. Thank you, Chicago Pops. So you may want to just go and check that out. Thank you, Gary. I appreciate it. Thank you, Spencer. Uh, just keep an eye on things like that. Thank you, Don. I appreciate the compliments. So anyway, you guys, you know, uh, keep keep listening. Keep getting more and more information. I think there's, and, and again, if you feel up to it, you want to delve into it and see. Thank you so much, Lee. I really appreciate it. Thank you, everybody. Listen, you guys, God bless you. We'll see you again tomorrow. Thank you for being here. Please retweet this. And I really do appreciate your support. Thank you so much. God bless you. See you again tomorrow, everybody, on YouTube. God bless you, and we'll talk soon. Take care.